guys, this is Mishy Beauty back again. And if you're interested in how I got this look with this Laura Geller New York palette, then please keep watching. All right, so hey guys, before I get started with the Laura Geller palette, uh, I just want to give a shout out to Nail Wraps. Uh, they are pretty quick. Uh, if you know what you're doing, I did not know what I was doing, so it might be easier for you. But the company is called Z Nails, I believe. Uh, yeah, they're, they're called Z Nails. And yeah, let me show you my nails here. They're really cute. Um, let me zoom in here. And I'll put pictures at the end of this uh, video. I got uh, two different kinds. And I thought this was fitting for makeup. And I got this, just fun. This is what I have on today. It is unicorns and rainbows and hearts. So I put them... Um, they were doing a mommy and me deal. Let me zoom out because of this. They were doing a mommy and me deal, and I went on ahead and took advantage of that. So I put some on my daughter, but shout out to Z Nails Nail Wraps. I am not good at it. Um, it will take some practice, but yeah, I was thinking about getting my nails done, and I had forgotten uh, that I had these, but I will put a link down in the description below. Uh, for those of you that are interested. Now, let's focus back on me, camera. Uh, it takes a while. Anyway, so let's get started with the Laura Geller palette. I did prime my lids with the e.l.f. eyeshadow primer. I have already done that. Um, and now I am ready to get started. Oh, and for my face, no foundation. I only have the Bare Minerals Bare Skin perfecting veil uh, in the medium shade. I probably could have gone deep. I don't know. They didn't have deep in the um, store, which was, I believe it was TJ Maxx. So let's get started with the Laura Geller Montauk, Montauk Escape. Let's zoom in on that. Laura Geller Montauk Talk, I guess, Escape. And these are the shades. They give it to you on the back. It looks like you have a highlighter, a blush, and four eyeshadow shades. So this is, shouldn't take long. Um, it, sh it comes with a little card in here. And let's open it up. You've got... Uh, Vitamin C, S E A. <laughs> They're calling one of these vitamin C. I believe it's this one. Vitamin C. I guess this is Cabana Bonfire. Popsicle. I don't know about this. I don't know if I'm. And Sand Castle right here. I'm guessing this is. I'm reading it differently here I don't know but it's matching up with the back uh, the front so and they're calling this summer solstice I hope I have this right but these are the colors the palette comes with a mirror and let's see what I'm going to start out with I think these colors are really pretty I just don't know know what to do so I'm going to take this B5 Angle Contour Brush. Let's see if it wants to focus on this. La. Let's zoom out a little bit. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna go in with the color. I wanna say it's the Popsicle color right here. And I'm going to use the mirror that's on the palette. 
And I'm just going to go in the crease with this and then proceed to bring it out to the rest of my eyelid. I don't know you guys, that um, those little um, nail stickers, if I had gotten a handle of them, they'd be so easy, but I just don't feel like I handled them <laughs> the way I should have. And I did order them from, uh, they have like, you know how Avon has reps? Um, well, this company will have reps as well. Um, and I went through her. I'm gonna put the link in the description below, like I said. Oh, I'm sorry. I had some of my, um, what do you call it? What do you call that stuff? Anyway, I had to get it off my eye. Primer, eyeshadow primer. I saw it uh, sticking out there. So this is going to be my base shade here. And I need to try to figure out what I am going to do for the rest of the colors. All right, I think the next thing I'm gonna do, and I'm not gonna go too heavy I'm going to take my, let's see what brush will I take here. Move my mirror to the side. I'm trying to be organized, guys, bear with me. You know what? I'm gonna use this Summer Days eyeshadow set from Luxie. Let's see what I can do with that set. They've got, I call them mini brushes. This is a mini set. That's what I call them. Uh, let me take them out. This is the set. I think I'm going to go in with this. I guess it's a small domed eyeshadow brush right here. I don't know if you guys can see it. And they're pink. They're so pretty. So let me do that. I'm going to go in with this color right here. I believe they're calling this Sand Sickle. I think it's the Popsicle shade, this one pinkish red deep red shade so I'm gonna go in with that it's a little dusty on the pan I don't know if you guys can see a little dusty but it's not I wouldn't call it tremendous fallout It's pigmented. Um, I wouldn't say it's highly pigmented, but yeah, it's doing the job. I've never had an a Laura Ga Ga. I've never had a Laura Geller eyeshadow palette or cream eyeshadow or any type of eyeshadow. It's always been. Um, something for the face like blush or um, do I have a, I think I do have a highlighter from her so these two be interesting to see I need to read the box to see exactly what they're calling these shades on the side I'm almost sure one's a highlighter let's see Sunset on uh, face palette, eyes, wild romantic, coral blush, coral blush, okay. So coral blush, I think that's what they're calling it, so. I don't know what the other side is, I'll have to take a look. Okay, let's do the other side. I don't know if I'm gonna speed this up or not. I, I gotta figure out how to do it. Um, I 
Yeah, I gotta figure out how to do um, the speed on my, again, because this camera does not, um, record fast speed. It does not do that. So it's up to my editing skills, which I have none. I have no editing skills, so um, we'll have to work it out. Work it out. So if you hear this commentary right now, it's because I could not figure it out. I'm trying to let this camera do its focusing bit. And I'm gonna lightly put some in the crease here. I am gonna go in with a darker shade, but what I noticed is that I should go in with the darker shade last because that darker shade, I'm just packing a little bit more color on here. The actual lid part not my crease um, I did forget what I was talking about oh when I put the darker shade on during or before the other colors when I put the darker shade in the on the end there the outer portion of my eyelid um, it tends to take over the way that I apply it anyway, it tends to take over um, the rest of the look. So I do have to end up going back over the eye with the other shades. So I'm gonna zoom in here. This eye color is pretty cool. Not eye color, this this particular color is pretty cool. I'm gonna clean this look up, of course, because this red is kind of staining the rest of the area. So now I'm going to take another brush and I am going to go in with um, the lighter color here, which is what they're calling. I don't know if you can focus on that. Absolutely not. Bonfire, I think this is called. And I am just going to put that up here more so below the brow bone. The formula is nice. It's, it's not a lot of fallout. It is kind of powdery, but I like the way it uh, goes on the lid I don't again I you guys I've talked about my eyelid shape and how much area I have on my eyelid I don't have and I've seen people with less area but this area right here is not a lot of it there's not a lot of it so um, I'm careful about what I do here and then how much I bring down this 
at the bottom part um, bottom part right below my brow bone there so I'm kind of careful I'm trying to talk my way through this because I don't know what else I'm going to put on my eyelids let me use now that was a I forgot what the name of these brushes were but it's a white hair white tip brush so now I'm going to go in with the darker color Mac. I'm sorry. This is the gold brush is a Mac brush. How could I forget that brand? So giving it a little bit of depth here with the darker shade, making a slight V motion. Here's something downstairs. I think it's my cat. Let's see what she's doing. Kitty! Gotta see what's going on. Alright, guys, I'm gonna see what's going on with my cat and be right back. Alright, guys, I am back from seeing what my cat was doing downstairs. So I basically um, kind of sort of worked it out because I couldn't figure out exactly what I wanted to do. So what I ended up doing was I put the goldish color in the middle and then I went and I eyelined, or I guess I lined the red color up here that's what I ended up doing. I blended it as much as I could. And then I went back over it with the gold color in the center. And now what I'm going to end up doing is taking this brown color and using it as my bottom liner. So let me find, I'm going to go in with this um, Bodico. It's called Bodico. I actually got it from a dollar store. So it's just a... I don't know if you guys can see it. That kind of a brush. So let's see what I can do with that color here. So hey guys, tell me in the comments below, every time I do talk to whoever, they don't comment, but if you feel like it, let me know your thoughts if you've ever tried these type of nails nail stickers I think is what they call them because I'm gonna tell you right now I really need a lot of practice from far away they look really good but Due to my shoddy work, they don't look that great <laughs> up close. And I could be being hard on myself. I know it's going to take time. I know it will take time. Now let me see if I can... I'm so bad at this. Let me see what I can do with the upper. I do need to get those strips. trying to do a wing a little bit and it's I don't know if it's going well at all I'm thinking no 
I'm thinking no. And this is just all over the place, so this doesn't even look like a wing out here on this side. So, Yeah, I'm gonna learn not to attempt wings on camera. Uh, one of these days, I'm gonna learn not to do that. One of these days. I guess it's not today. And I'm gonna have to clean up this work here. Yeah, I'm going to have to clean it up. So let me zoom in to show you what I've done with this palette so far. I like the colors. I just need to work with the colors and work on how I want to put them on my eyelid. So I'm going to clean up my attempt at a wing. I'm not going to use, I, I'm going to have to start using the blush here pretty soon and uh, let me go clean up and I'll see you guys in a moment. Alright guys so this is what I've cleaned up like. Um, so this is what I've cleaned up like. Um, this is the eye look. Let me go ahead and put some blush. I really do need to comb my eyebrows. But one thing that I did do, and I'm trying not to move so fast, is underneath the bare skin powder that I have on my face, I did put a cream multi-stick grapefruit color is what they call it by All Natural. It is a cream blush. I did put it underneath my powder to give that uh, blush from within. Um, so now I am going to use, uh, got wet on that. Now I'm going to attempt to use the blush in this palette. I believe they're calling it uh, summer solstice. I hope I'm naming these things right. So I'm just going to take my unicorn brush. It's just like a fluffy uh, blush brush. And I'm going to go in with it. trying to make it even. And I put my blush here and a little bit here. So I stay within this line. So I'm looking at it in the mirror. So, this is what the blush has done. I'm going to comb my eyebrows a little bit and I'm going to try to figure out what they're saying this shade is. Also, let me go ahead and do a swatch of these colors. Zoom back out here. I'm going to do a swatch of the eyeshadows on one arm and the blush. And I'm not sure what that other shade is on the other. So 
let me wipe my fingers off here. Sorry, I'm try <laughs> trying to wipe my... This look is... Um, it's not very... Oh, sorry. One second. Gotta throw something away. It was my daughter's... Piece of my daughter's hair. Okay. I don't know. Let me know what you think about the colors and how they they go together. All right, so let's do this. And you're not going to be able to see this uh, matte shade right here. Let me focus a little bit on my arm. So I'm not sure what this shade is because I just don't know. I'm not sure what this shade is. It's the cranberry and this shade. And this is the transition shade or base shade I use. Let me turn these colors back over again. All right, one of them's Cabana, one of them's Popsicle. One of them is Bonfire and Sandcastle. I'm thinking this is the Sandcastle. Hold on. I'm thinking this is the Sandcastle. This is the Bonfire. This is the Popsicle. And this is the Cabana. That's just my thinking on this. This is very pretty here. So this is how they swatched. Now on the other arm, I am going to do the, I don't know what this is. This one, blush. This one, let me read again. Escape with the Sunset Inspired Palette, our Montauk Escape Face Palette, lightly washes your skin in sheer bronze. Oh, I'm guessing I was supposed to put this on my face as a bronzer. Hmm. Let me keep reading. Um, while a romantic coral blush, which is the one I put on, completes the sun-kissed look. Eyes are finished with a palette of fiery plums and bronzes with a pop of intense gold. The forecast is always gorgeous with this summer must have. I actually used every color of this palette. They have four shadows and two face, face uh, colors. Let me see, let me pop this. Let me use the same blood brush I used for blush. Let me see what this does, this color right here, when I put it on my skin, even though I already have a powder on. Hmm. This is basically my skin color. This shade right here. So I'm not sure this is gonna do much of anything. Oops. <gasps> did you see that? <laughs> just did. <gasps> oh my God, I gotta do this over again. I can't believe I just did that. So I, cut, I messed up my um, this side of my face with the swatched finger. Wow. And you get to see me redo it. So let me go in with my um, bare skin, bare minerals, bare skin, just a touch of it. But I don't see what that other color kind of look like a sand color I'm not seeing really um, what that could have done this is how that's that, that uh, bare minerals bare skin went on all right I can't believe I did that that's a shame So we're gonna try to correct what I've done. 
And now I'm using that sand looking color in the palette. That's in the palette. Now I'm gonna go back over it with the blush. I don't know if there's such a word as re-blush, but that's what I'm doing to the side. I'm re-blushing it. All right, now we look a little bit more even. I can't believe I did that. Look at my hands. You know what? Before I mess up anymore, I'm going to wash my hands as soon as I can figure out how to turn this off. Be right back. All right, guys, that is a blooper I am gonna keep in there. I am gonna keep that blooper in there. So this is me. So far, my daughter's accidental scratch on my face is looking a little bit better. I am going to swatch both shades of the face powder um, one is a blush, I know for sure. The other one definitely cannot be a bronzer on me. I don't know what they're wanting it to be. And let's go on with this shade. Yeah, you can barely see it on my skin tone. But I will take it and put it I don't know where to put it. I don't have a light enough area on my skin to show it. All right, so this is the, let me zoom in. This is the blush. And that, somewhere on this, this right here, I don't know what it is. I think it's a, supposed to be a face powder is what that's supposed to be. I think it's supposed to be a face powder. So this is the look I've created with the colors in the uh, Montauk Escape palette from Laura Geller. Uh, I am going to find something to brush my brows with. Let's see, what can I find in here? And I am going to put on some blush, I mean some eyeshadow. Let me do that. You know what eyeshadow I'm going to use? I'm going to use the Il Maquillage. That I got in my Ipsy. It's the um, eye mascara. Let's go ahead and use that. I make the funniest faces. I really, really do. Okay. Let's zoom in and see what it did. It gave it a little bit more volume there. I'm going to leave it zoomed in while I do the other eye. Oh, oh God, I hate that. I hate when I do that with mascara. I just, I absolutely hate it. This one's way thicker than the other one now. <laughs> I almost want to put another coat on this one to even it out. All right, so I'm doing a messy, messy messy type of job but I'm good I'm cleaning it up so my eyes have a lot more depth has anybody ever used mascara for their brows anybody so my brows are not that I do have a I don't know if I have it in this drawer here 
I am way too um, lazy to go and get it. But I do have a brow thingy. Let me go get it. Because I said I would comb my brows. But I did get a brow item in my one of my boxes. And I don't know where it is. But I am going to. Because I do need to pay more attention to my brows. Alright guys. So I did find a brow wand in one of my drawers. It's the Scone Brown Wand. Brow Wand. And what I'm really interested in is not so much the color that's on here but I am more interested in the end that has the spoolie which is what I need to comb my brows with I do have an another item from elf that's just simply for combing and you know shaping your brows with a brush on the other end a comb on another this is called the scone brow wand eyebrow pencil and so what I am going to do is just brush up word small quick strokes is what I do because I don't I have a few little areas I could fill in but if I brush them just right I brush over those areas that need to be filled in and make it appear that my brows are thicker than they are. Yeah. I don't feel the need to go in real big today with coloring the eyebrows and making them look even thicker. I'm not going anywhere that would warrant for me to do that. And I um, really don't like taking off makeup as soon as I put it on. I usually do like to go out with it and give it a chance. Um, you know, let people see what I've done. I don't like to take it off as soon as I put it on. I do not like to do that. Sorry, I'm using some of this bare minerals, bare skin. To highlight my forehead a little bit and take some of the shine oily shine there's a difference between shine that you want there like glittery and 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 shine oily shine oily shine is not pretty so I am going to put a lippy on there is a lippy I have not used in a while I haven't used the Jolie cosmetics one and I haven't used the Long Lasting Liquid Lip uh, by Ofra. I'm guessing this color is not going to look right with it. So I'm going to go in with the Jolie Cosmetics. This is a matte, I believe. I am looking at my mirror that's right here. I can look at you guys and do this or my viewfinder but in the end I do have to look closer okay I really like this color it's um, kind of like a matte nude I don't know how you'd explain it this is Jolie's cosmetics and I it's the words are too small for me to see the color I'm sorry. I love this vanity because everything is right here in front of me. Um, so that is really the look that I created. I guess I can do a little bit more highlighter. I'm going to grab quickly. One moment. I know you guys are like, oh, she's crazy. All right. So I'm going to grab another Ofra product and I am going to put the darker highlighter part the, the bronzy part on my skin uh, and I am going to use a witch blush brush I mean what hi highlighter brush I'm gonna try to go in with this one and see what happens It's not targeting the area that I want, so that's when I bring out the fan brush. It, 
if I'm going to get another type of, um, and I always follow it with my finger here. If I am going to get another type of other than a Fran brush for a uh, highlight, it's going to be a smaller br brush along these lines. What did I do? I just put it. It's going to be smaller because this is really too soft and a little bit too big and it spreads the highlight out a little bit more in the area uh, than what I would like. But a hot, this brush can still be used after the highlight highlighter is uh, put on the exact areas that you really need it, the target areas. Then you can kind of use it after the fact. But this is this is really too soft to use this brush. So that's that. I got a little highlighter. Let's not forget the nose. And let me use this, follow it up with this. And my finger. I don't like it to look like just one streak down my nose. I kind of blend in the highlighter. So this is me, this is it, this is it. And I will have photos of my nails and my um, look. giving it time <laughs> so yeah so that's it I like this lip color with it <laughs> I do not when you already have full lips going outside the lip line is not an option <laughs> it just doesn't look right I mean it's always an option but I, I don't think it, it looks right my lips are already full so I don't need to do anything along those lines do you like my horseshoe earrings kind of neat Anyway, so that is the look with this Laura Geller New York Montauk Escape Palette. This is not uh, going to be a palette I reach for all the time, but I do like the colors in it. I think the darker red color actually matches uh, a lot of what I have in my wardrobe. I'm not going to say that I'm going to reach for it every day, but it is a nice, like if we're going out, this would be a nice light palette to use. Um, again, this is what it looks like on the back. And I do like it. So go out to Marshall. What was this? Marshall's? $7.99. Grab yourself one. I think it's nice to have in your purse. Like if you're in a rush, your husband's rushing you, somebody's rushing you, you're like, okay, I'll do my makeup in the car, you put this little thing in the car. I mean, it works. I like it, the colors are great. They're not, I mean, they're okay, I like them. And I'm sure someone else can do another type of look with this palette that's more daring. But this is my look, I think it's pretty. So, this is my soft glam look with this palette. I will, um, take some pictures after that please give it a thumbs up help me out because I think what happens is YouTube actually looks at how many likes people have and so they figure others want to see your videos based on how many likes you get I mean views and likes go hand in hand so give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel I'm not sure if they look at how many subscribers you have because I don't have that many so subscribe to my channel if you like what you saw um, I'm still waiting on my Allure Beauty Box, which is on the way. It might come today, so you might see another video soon after this one. But until then, you guys have a wonderful day, and thanks for tuning in. Bye.